Everybody. My name is John. People have asked me to share my life now since the shift toward an enlightened. So before I begin, as always, I must thank Sri Yama Bhagwan and the great compassionate light for everything. I would not be sitting here talking to you now had it been and there ain't any lack of grace from them. Everything I am, everything I feel, all my thoughts, my entire life, the breath I take, this joy I feel in this new life is because of them. So thank you. Thank you again and again. People ask me what my life was like before and how it is now. So let me kind of go through a little list. I remember being hurt all the time. I actually ached physically. I put on a good front. I was happy to people. But inside, I was tormented. Tormented by how I felt, tormented by my memories. Everything hurt. But now that's just a memory. I remember all of that, but it doesn't hurt anymore. All I feel now is just this abounding peace and silence. And whenever I go inside and check out how things are, what well, brings a smile to my face? I'm good. The other thing that dominated my life was fear. I was actually scared to death for most of my adult life. As far back as I remember, I was frightened of something. Frightened my dad would punish me. My mother would yell at me. My brother would ridicule me. My friends would reject me. I'd lose my job. My wife would leave me. My children would disrespect me. Frightened of something. It motivated everything I did. That's completely gone. There's nothing there. Again, I remember it all. I remember those incidences, but they don't feel. And it's not like I don't feel anything. I've, my heart is turned off or something. No. In the contrary, I feel everything. I feel the people I'm around. When I go outside, I feel the plants and the trees. There's no difference between how I feel inside and how I feel outside. There's this giant sense of being connected being part of something may way bigger than I ever thought possible. And because of the absence of hurt and fear, all the dialogue, meaning all the internal conversation is gone. I used to sit down and judge and criticize everyone, what they wore, 
you know, how they acted, how they acted toward other people, everything. Now, all I have is tremendous compassion for them. Why? Because most of them are doing things that they don't know are hurting themselves and others. It's really sad. It's completely unnecessary. Because I that, I don't suffer. I don't think about things over and over again. It used to be that when something would happen that would hurt me, what would happen is I would think about it for days, weeks, go over and over. I should have said this. I should have done this. This person shouldn't have said this. This person shouldn't have done this. It would never stop. It's gone. All there is now is just peace. Because of all of that, the person that people call John really doesn't exist anymore. And the thoughts have stopped. And because of that, I just experience life as it is. It's just that simple. And I must admit, it's taken some time to get used to the idea of that life can continue without the mind being active. Someone coined a phrase recently that they functioned as an enlightened person with impulses. So there's an impulse to do this, an impulse to do that. So life is just completely spontaneous. It flows freely from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next. And I really have a ton of energy. I get a lot of stuff done. It's simple. I see things differently. I can see things in the context of what's going on, how the world around people is affecting them, how they're innocent victims of their past. And I remember the days when that was true for me and my heart aches for them more than ever before. I'm just happy. I'm in love with my life. I love who I am. Maybe for the first time in my life. I have tremendous freedom, emotional freedom, freedom from a barrage of thoughts, and freedom from all that pain and torment that used to be my life. So for those of you who are part of the 74,000 Dixie Agni program. Congratulations. The life you're going to live is going to be spectacular. And together we will change this world around us. And for those of you who have not yet joined, I'm, not, I'm not encouraging, no, I'm actually begging you for the sake of yourself, for the people you love, your children, your family, the friends, become part of this group that will finally be happy and free. Enjoy your life. Help others. It's worth it. So I hope this has helped you understand the nature of this life. I hope my comments will help you understand your own progress along this path to complete freedom. That's the idea. Let you see what you've done. Let you see how far you've come. Give you a little hope and encouragement to continue. If you've not yet had this shift. And also to make you realize how important it is for you and the world around you. I can honestly say I actually love you all. Some of you I'll never meet, but I'm sure when we do, it'll be fantastic. So again, many, many, many thanks to Sri Yama, Sri Bhagwan, and the great compassion and light for all of this. And the chance to share with you this moment, to share my life, all blessings. 
Love you so much. Thanks again. I'm on my-